The problem is that the world and this country should not talk about envy of the 1%. It should talk about emulating the 1%. The 1% work harder. The work 1% are much bigger factors in all forms of our but society. It's absurd to <laughs> demonize the rich for being rich and for doing what the rich do, which is get richer by creating opportunity for others. We will get through this period of experimentation with socialism. Okay? Is it that? Is it so socialism? What, what would you call it? Take from the rich because the rich are bad? Is that the message? If, well, uh, that's how I feel. Uh, the quote 1% are being pummeled uh, because it's politically convenient to do so. You have owned fancy yachts, fancy cars, and underwater submersible. Airplane. Underwater you, airplane. I, I, I saw it. It's basically an airplane that flies underwater. Right. Do you worry at all that you are divorced from reality? Are you divorced from reality? I don't know if anybody can answer that. And I am thrilled to death that we have so many fat cats in the world, especially so many here in America. This is the investor call, the analyst portion of it. Mike Mayo is an analyst with CLSA, a banking analyst. He asked Jamie Dimon, the CEO of J.P. Morgan Chase, whether or not capital ratios at banks, the strength of a bank's balance sheet, matter when it comes to client deposits. And this is the exchange. Take a listen. I think what I hear UBS saying in their presentations is if I'm an affluent customer, I'll feel a lot better going to UBS if they have a 13% capital ratio than another big bank with a 10% ratio. Do you agree with that or disagree? So you would go to UBS and not JP Morgan? I didn't say that. I said they, that's their argument. That's why I'm richer than you. 